Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of The Velvet Room. Oh my gosh, are you guys excited? Well, we're really excited. So. Look, it's me and you on the screen. Oh my god, it's Mitchell and uh, yeah. the ginger one that sits next to him. <laughs> Gang Ludo. Yeah! That person's name is Gang. <laughs> I should know. We're playing Asago Academy. Okay, you know of so much more I've been about waiting. this game than yeah. I do. I, this game has been in development for like two years, and that's how long I've been waiting for it. Uh, it's a normal boots dating sim game where you can date all the lovely guys that make up normal boots. And it was made by Kara, would be her name? Mm. Kara and Danielle. Uh, Danielle I know better is Unicornism on Tumblr, and she does awesome art. You guys should go check that out. And you guys should get this game before you watch us play it. It is free on itch.io, I think. Uh, there, there will be links. Yeah, so. uh, tons yeah. of links is down below. Yeah, get this game. It's really cool, and uh, it's so I just love the faces and the art, and we're going to play, and we're going to date everybody. Okay, ready? By the way, I'm guys, ready. full LP. <laughs> full LP. <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's do it. I'm ready to okay, rock. Okay. Are you ready to date guys? We are so ready to date guys. I'm ready to date guys. I'm ready to date guys. I'm ready to date guys who definitely already have wives. Chapter one. <gasps> Oh, do I have to click? Yeah, oh, I do. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Wait, do we have to? Ooh, we have to read some of this. It's not all voice acted. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> do you want to take the main girl, or should I take the main girl? I don't. We already decided that you're the main girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm the redheaded ginger friend. Oh, all right. No. <laughs> the train made its way along the gentle curve of the coast of Japan. Are we going to want to hear that voice in this whole LP? <laughs> Whisking me further and farther away from home. <laughs> That's better. All right. Across from me sat a boy, face half buried in a newspaper. He was deeply entranced in whatever article he was reading and hadn't spoken a single word to me, even when I had asked if I could join him in the last compartment with any available space. Must be uh, Lupin, right? Lupin the third. That's how this goes, uh, Harry Potter. He shrugged, nodded, and adjusted his newspaper without ever making eye contact. Yeah. It had been almost an hour, in fact. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! I my finger bumped the mouse button and it oh. decided to go. Through. Oh, you went backwards. You went backwards. Whoopsies. Okay. Yeah, um, go ahead and click. Go the, ahead. Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most awkward Good, Great start. Thing. Great start, game. <laughs> oh, woof. Here we go. Is this, uh... Oh, here are that. Devoid of conversation, I took instead to counting the buttons on the pretentiously lush carmine seat cushions. One, two, three. Crunch. <laughs> oh, God, that never, that's super old. 21, 22, and so forth, over and over. No wonder she's going to a new school. She can't count. <laughs> <laughs> now and again, I turned to look out the window where the trees were blurring by. Sometimes the smear. <laughs> <laughs> you get, like, deeper and more storytelling each time. Anyway, please The continue. smeared green would break and reveal the quiet blue of the Sea of Japan. Right, we're in Japan. Eventually, this rapidly... Rapidly... There. Rap, <laughs> rapidly... Rapidly. Made my, nope. <laughs> made my stomach churn, and I went back to counting the buttons on the seat cushions. One, a two... <laughs> A three. <laughs> Twenty-four. Oh, uh, the train compartment sh <laughs> shuddered around us. The Dementors are boarding it. <laughs> My eyes wandered to the boy in his jacket. Oh. It wasn't the school-issued blue that I and the other students on the train were wearing. Instead, it was a green, varsity-like jacket with the embroidered patch poorly sewn on front. Uh, I wanted one of those jackets. Ah, Jared! Oh my god! Who's going to be Jared? What do we do? Jared Leto! <laughs> no, no, not him. Oh, I'll, I'll be pro J. All right, go ahead. Go for pro. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be doing him an injustice by being him. So you're a first year then? He looks like a bad boy. <laughs> he folded his newspaper neatly, set it in his lap, and looked at me with a half-interested gaze. Did he just catch me? Staring. B-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-b-
<laughs> Please don't be a puking cinder, right? Not today. I can't no. handle it. Now that the paper <laughs> is gone, I saw his face. He watched me through the <laughs> eyes. We are so excited about this. We are a little bit insane. His hair was immaculately groomed, his teeth straight and blinding bright. That's the first thought I have when I watch one of Proje's videos. Blindingly bright. <laughs> the, <clears throat> there was something about him, the way the light hit him, that made him look like he was almost sparkling. Is he a vampire? I was just thinking that, dude. Are we ebony? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. If this was a pro J. Uh, oh, whoop, here you go. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he laughed. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> he glanced around the compartment empty <laughs> beside us and laughed. Oh, well, yeah, we did say something stupid. Oh, no, I'm a first year. Not, uh, not, I'm not a first year. <laughs> you shut the fuck up, Kate. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm pro J. I'm a third year. <clears throat> the train began to slow. Metal wheels groaning against metal tracks. <laughs> the sudden shift threatened to rob me of whatever was left in my stomach. God, please don't puke on me. <laughs> but I closed my eyes, took a deep breath, and puked <laughs> all over him. <laughs> Bro Jared went on his next video with puke all over him. All over his beautiful blue shirt. Willing, <laughs> willing myself <laughs> to keep it together. What kind of impression would I leave? Puking on a student before I even arrived at the academy. A bad one. <coughs> the boy <laughs> I'm sorry, please continue. The, the boy frowned. I picked at the hem of my cotton skirt. Uh, that's not possible. I've never seen you before. You filthy little mug boy. <laughs> filthy. <laughs> Wait till my father is up. <laughs> Who's pro Jared's dad? <laughs> Lucius Malfoy. <laughs> I mean, I've been listening. <laughs> Please continue. It, it, it took me a moment of mouth fishing to find a response. Mouth fishing? I, uh, it's because I'm a transfer student. Oh. He laughed again. Wait, do we get to hear another laugh? I think I turned it down, unfortunately. Well, I, that's why I waited. A transfer student, huh? We don't get many of those. <laughs> I removed my acceptance letter from the front pocket of my uniform. The paper, heavyweight off white, mm. had accumulated <clears throat> creases from Jesus. my reading it up! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> 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 fucking. <laughs> the mouse fell off my knee. <laughs> had accumulated creases from my reading and rereading, <laughs> as if the words might have changed since the last time I read it. The boy took it, studied it, and handed it back to me. I don't remember offering it to you. I'll see you around. Well then, Ahana, I suppose I'll be seeing you around. <laughs> oh, Edward! <laughs> oh, gross! He smiled at me as he picked up the suitcase lying next to him. It was my suitcase. He was a thief. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> By the time I hiccuped a response, he was already gone from the compartment. Hana, so darling shy. I stared out into the empty hallway of the train. Candy from the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Chocolate frog! <laughs> it, anyway. It was then that I realized he, having gotten it from my acceptance letter, knew my name and I never got his. Proje's the first guy we met. We have to romance Proje first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're disappointed you wanted that sweet, sweet Jontron, but but we, we did say whoever we meet first. All right. That's uh, <laughs> The train settled at the station, and I filled out with a filed. Filed. <laughs> Sorry. Out of the rest of the uniform students. Got it. Gryffindor. It was early April, and the last frost of winter had come and gone. Who goes to school at early April? Shh. The, tre <laughs> the trees were already green. The leaves shivering, in the occasional gust weaving through them. The air was mild, only a few clouds hanging in the sky. Beautiful. I walked along the road with a swarm of blue 
jacketed bodies, looking at the little groups breaking off from the crowd. Bread. <laughs> Everyone was buzzing Buzz. so anima <laughs> animated <laughs> an animatedly around me. Do you need glasses? <laughs> I held my suitcase tight in my sweaty hands. <laughs> Stop that. <it. laughs> it was leather bound and worth more than anything it contained. Interesting. It wasn't far from the school, and I was... No, it's fine. Oops. <laughs> For maybe the first time in my life, thankful that what I owed didn't amount to much. Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> you got, like, all these debts, and you're running away. Starting over. <laughs> my school-issued Black Oxfords click, click, clicked on the pavement. I walked this walk over and over in my mind. So many nights I lay awake imagining what it would be like to walk from the train station to Asagio. Asagao. No. Asagio. Asagao. Asagao. To Asago. <laughs> sure. Academy, this first time. Asaga. <laughs> My new start. I always imagined that everything would change for me on this walk. You know, you can look at the computer there because it's a little closer. That <laughs> My eyes are like <laughs> super strained. Yo, why don't, you, why don't we alternate you know lines? I was just gonna suggest that. Oh, we have like a synchronized brain today. That's really cool. <laughs> that somehow everything would magically be different. What did I do? Save the data. Should we save? Yeah, save. Okay. Oh, you gotta alternate those saves, yo. Day yeah. one. All right. Everything would be magically different. But as I looked around, I realized nothing had changed. I hadn't changed. I don't like <gasps> myself. <laughs> Let's just get really down. Wow, jeez. Way to take it to the worst. <clears throat> I think it's your turn. I just read that line. <laughs> By the time I reached the massive gate to the academy, I forgot all about the disappointment slouching in the back of my throat. Ooh, why is it there? The school, framed by the gate's twisting black metal, was just as beautiful as the glossy photos I saw in its pamphlets. Oh, the school's so pretty. This was it. Asago Academy. I glanced around. <laughs> the swarm of students <laughs> gathered around the gates <clears throat> like cicada. <laughs> Beyond <Why>? it, <laughs> tiny blue people bounced around the academy's main building. The little fourth grader. <laughs> a girl pressed a button to one side of the gate. The excitement in the air was almost palpable. I cannot say that word. Palpable? Pa palpable. A few moments later, the black gate, with great effort, creaked outwards and cleared the pathway. The rest of the group... I keep forgetting we're sh <laughs> shifting this. The rest of the group shifted into motion. I followed along, a sheep in the herd. Life is like that, a sheep in the herd. <laughs> My stomach tied itself into knots. Uh, the crowd split off in different directions. For a moment, I panicked. <laughs> a tired-looking man with gray hair <coughs> called out for first years. A cluster of fresh-faced <laughs> students gathered around him. Hey, hey, look at that girl. I turned. A few feet away, a small group of boys were pointing at me and snickering. Why? The pink hair? Are you kidding me? How desperate can you get? Hot shame crawled down my neck. <laughs> That's really dramatic. I attached myself to a group of girls, <clears throat> following a few steps behind <laughs> them. Ignore me! In the distance, Cicadas hum. The cicadas. Yeah. In time to my shoes crunching against their shells. <laughs> my hair. It wasn't my fault that my hair looked like this. <clears throat> Luckily, I found myself at the girls' dormitory. On our side in the lawn, reading... Pr Primrose? Pr wow, okay. <laughs> what do you see? Pr <laughs> Prison. <laughs> <laughs> if I... I thought it said prime rib. 
I gotta stop staring at this screen <laughs> and stare at we'll that look at the screen. closer screen. <laughs> Which is weird because we live at the school that's for morning glories. So I don't. <laughs> the building dwarfed me in size and sheer intimidation. <sighs> How many students did a sago have? Oh, hey, it's Ginger. As I approached the building, a red-headed girl lingering nearby caught my attention. I looked away, then looked back, then looked away, <laughs> then back again. And then she knew that I knew. <laughs> <laughs> she knew that I knew that she was staring at me. <laughs> at me? She walked over. Oh, uh, that may have been my line. I'm sorry. It's okay. She's going to be me, so. Oh, you must be my roommate. <gasps> she talked. Aww. <laughs> I eyed her warily. She was smiling and bouncing in a way that suggested her views on life were akin to a perpetual bouncing castle. Yeah. There you are. Me? <laughs> Not me? Of course, you silly. Let me guess. Room 325? I thought back to the paper I received a month prior to... <sighs> <laughs> what is wrong? I, I didn't breathe before <laughs> the line. I heard that. Okay. Received a month prior with a list of all the supplies I needed for the year and my dorm arrangements. Um, yeah, that's right. If they are talking, we're just not hearing it, so we may end up talking over some people sometimes. Yeah, I'm going to turn this up we'll ever so slightly. We'll try not to do that. So, yeah. Ever so slightly as it goes up like 15. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she laughed, but I couldn't figure out what was so funny. Was she laughing at me? Uh, uh, is she talking? No, go ahead. Just okay. go ahead. When I found out my roommate was a transfer student, I knew you were going to be a total main character. Oh, God, she's breaking the fourth wall. I'm sorry. <laughs> a what? Well, you got the only pink hair in the goddamn world. When I saw you outside the gate, I knew it was you. I mean, look at that hair. I felt a lump forming in my throat. What was she talking about? Are these guys self-aware? She had to be making fun of me. I hadn't spent more than five minutes on campus and I was already being mocked. My hands began to tremble. <clears throat> oh no, she's crying! Is, is there something wrong with my hair? <laughs> I don't... I that was a really bad delivery. I gotta stop drinking this Pepsi. <laughs> Her face slackened from its amused smile to a more worried expression. Then she began to laugh again. Sorry, I took your, your line. Yeah, I heard that one, so I didn't... I didn't. Aww. This voice actor's cute. My. My Sasaki. My. Did you bow your head? I bowed my head. <laughs> there he goes. It's nice to meet you, Mai. All your school books are waiting in our room with your welcome letter, and I read the envelope. <laughs> I read your letter. I hope you're not mad. I'm furious! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mai started walking toward the dorm's front doors. I followed behind like a lost puppy. Did you check in at the front desk already? No! <laughs> Bitch! I didn't! I didn't know I was the best! <laughs> Good, they'll offer to have, uh, have a staff member give you a tour of the campus, but I can show you around. We don't get many transfer students in year three, you know. Oh, is that your only bag? Just the one? I'm glad I brought an extra bag of stuff to decorate our room with. I started already, I hope you don't mind. Oh, she's really presumptuous, isn't she? But I did wait to string the lights. I thought we could do it together, you know? She spoke quickly. <laughs> the words blow... <laughs> <laughs> like what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she spoke quickly, the words bubbling from her mouth, and left me no time to answer until the end of her monologue. We'll never make it to the next boy. <laughs> no, we're not. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds good. She held the front door open for me, and I hurried inside. <clears throat> Girls, fire up and Girls. down the hall. <laughs> uh, 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 up and down the hallway, howling greetings Ooh. and exchanging vague niceties that were more often than not. How was your break? And look at how tan you got. 
<laughs> yeah. Wow, this is very pink. Like, I love pink, but this is, like, if I walked into this room, I would be dead from Sophia the pink. first pink. Uh, she wears purple. Do you want to fight me? I don't know the show. <laughs> We're about to. It seemed like everyone knew each other. I followed Mai as she led me through the maze of students and up two flights of stairs. There's too many stairs for me. Each dorm, boop, that's you. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Each dorm floor looked the same as the last. Narrow, white doors lining both sides of the pale pink walls. Thin gold numbers were tacked to the front of each, the numbers rising as we climbed. You're not missing anything with the campus tour, I promise. Mr. Saitomo does seem... Does them every year and he's like totally dull. He just drags you around the entire campus and talks in that weird squeaky voice of his. I'll tell you everything you need to know. This is where we smoke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gotta take a drink while you do this. I smiled, trying to let this calm my nerves. Where do Thanks. the boys hang out? <laughs> Where can I? <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> really bad things. Okay. We we headed we headed down the hallway onto the third floor. My stopped us in front of the door numbered three twenty five. <gasps> That's our floor door. Here we are. This is where we fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, like I said, this is where we fuck. This is, I guess so. Three tortured souls, is that... Alright, that's fine. This is fine. Uh, a faint smell of pot pori. I know that's not how that's <laughs> Pot pori. <laughs> Waited through the room. The walls, like the hallway, were a soft, powdery pink. My favorite color. <laughs> My already defaced them. Tapestry. <laughs> with a tapestry of posters, magazine cutouts, and photographs. Some of the photos were of cats, but most were of male models and rugged musicians. That's Joseph Joestar <laughs> hugging a bear. <gasps> I love it! <laughs> a bunk bed, two writing desks with wooden chairs, a small dresser, and a mirrored vanity, all clearly <clears throat> provided by the school, were the only pieces of furniture in the tiny room. The top bunk was already covered in neatly tucked blankets and throw pillows of clashing patterns and colors. The other one had a creepy <laughs> bunny on it. A very disgusting creature. I love it. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> it's it's Wayne Brady's character on Sophia the First. <laughs> Clover. Anyways, no one gets these jokes. <laughs> the bottom bunk had a single stiff-looking pillow and a thin cotton blanket that I didn't need to touch to know was horribly itchy. Why does my stuff suck? <laughs> I must have grimaced because Mai quickly smiled at me. I'm better than you! I'm sorry. <laughs> I brought way too many pillows and blankets. I always overpack. I went to Italy over break and Mom got really mad at me because I bought brought five bags, but we were only there for a week. <laughs> Literally, she laughed, pulled several blankets and pillows from her bunk, and rearranged them neatly on mine. What a sweetie. A sudden twinge of guilt and embarrassment hit me. There, that's much better. Perfection, if you will. <laughs> Thanks, Mai! You're welcome. <laughs> I placed my suitcase on the bottom bunk and began to unpack its contents. Several changes of clothing, pens and pencils, empty notebooks, a few photographs of my father, a dil dilapidated stuff. <laughs> Did I say Dilapidated. <laughs> Is that really it? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> you gave me this look like it could be either a really gross stuffed rabbit, an old portable radio, and a small black box. <laughs> <laughs> My opened the curtains, and the sunlight poured in. Killing her instantly as she was a vampire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you from? <laughs> Bro, Jared died. No! Turning into dust. No. I slid the mo empty. <laughs> this is the worst playthrough we've done ever. I <laughs> I'm Oops. so excited. I slid the now empty <laughs> suitcase under the bottom bunk. I am laughing so hard that I'm squinting my eyes ever so slightly. And you can't see. And I can't Are you see. looking at the right monitor? <laughs> no. There, look at that one. About two hours north of here. It's a small town called Am <laughs> a, a Mimi a, a Mari Ritsu. It's like almost my name. <laughs> Amari Ritsu. You probably haven't heard of it. Nope. I set the stuffed rabbit. 
Mr. Bunny. On my bed beside a purple and teal throw pillow. I set the stuffed bunny. Or sorry, I, I, set, oh. I set the stuffed rabbit. Danny Darko. <laughs> Donnie no, Darko. Shit. Danny Darko. <laughs> Danny Vito. We'd all be so... Oh, gross. Oh, did you go to a different boarding school or... <laughs> No, I went to a public school down the street from my house. Are you telling me you're poor? Uh. (laughs) This is Sophia the first. (laughs) Public school? Disgusting. Not me. What was that like? Were the students mean? Did you have a lot of friends? I always went to private schools. My parents work a lot and my dad goes overseas, so I think they stuck me here for convenience. Oh, (laughs) what's that? That was me clapping really fast. Yeah, I was dumb. I don't know why you clapped. <laughs> Were you proud of me? No. Because <laughs> I'd removed <laughs> an ornately patterned... You or- are allowed to write, I mean, read a little faster than that. Oh, no, my eyes are still... Uh, origami crayon from the black box. And was setting it on the unclaimed writing desk. Oops. Uh, why don't you, uh, just turn off the other monitor so that you don't have to look at it? There. <laughs> why do we have it on in the first place? Mm. Oh, so we can hear it? Right. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, there's my mother made for me a long time ago. I set it beside a stack of thick textbooks, which I assumed were provided for me. Wow. It's so pretty. I've never seen paper like that before. Oh, yeah, the lights. Let me get them. Mai went to her own desk, opened the drawer, and pulled out a long, tangled string of fairy lights. Aw, fairy lights. I thought these would look nice. Here, help me string them up. Fire hazard. She (laughs) grabbed a container of bush pins and pushed. (laughs) (laughs) And pushed. (laughs) I don't even know why I have this keyboard. It's not being used. (laughs) <laughs> Please continue. Then pulled her wo- wooden desk chair out and over to one wall. I did the same with my, vo- uh, my own. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the place <laughs> where they learn how we can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about this. I don't even care if nobody watches. Together we pinned the lights around the perimeter of the room. How is the train ride over? Did you meet anyone? Oh, yeah, we did. No. Not really. I was in a compartment with some dude and, uh... (laughs) Some guy, huh? Was he cute? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, I guess. Do you think Projay is cute? Uh, Jontron's more my guy. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't even get his name. He was dreamy. But he was goddamn fucking sexy. Mai seemed disappointed for a moment, then perked back up, because that's just who she is. You'll have to point him out to me if you see him again. Oh, okay. I like to stalk all the boys. <laughs> Once we finished stringing the lights, Mai climbed down from her chair. And Do you brushed- want to see my binders of photos? <laughs> of all the boys. <laughs> and brushed her hands together they're like They're like Mr. Jefferson binders. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Done. Mitchell... Be liberal and see if you want to censor what you just said. <laughs> yeah, just a, a spoiler alert for something. We'll look back at the footage later and make sure that like, it's okay. Okay, now it's time for lunch. The food here is pretty good. There's this ramen place down the street from campus that's like out of this world. But the school only lets us leave campus on weekends. Prison. My walk to the window. <laughs> to the wall. We could go today because it's Sunday and it's pretty nice out. But I guess you might want to go to the cafe. To the calf since he just got here. We could. We should go to the calf to get some za. <laughs> some za. <laughs> she was suddenly interrupted by her own enthusiastic laughter, which was really cute. Oh my gosh, Mimi Santos totally just tripped outside and fell on her face. I saw it. Smeared all over, blood <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, is that mean to laugh? Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh well, anyways, let's go eat. I'm totally starved. She led me out of the room before I even had the chance to respond. What? The cat or nothing. <laughs> I can see you looking at the wrong monitor. <laughs> the cafeteria was buzzing with students excited for the new year. The only people as nervous looking as I felt were the 
Uh, uh, okay, I need to like sit closer here. The only people <laughs> as nervous looking as I felt were the tables of skittish, wide-eyed first years. I stepped in a line behind Ma- my. I want to call her May. Do you feel that way? I would assume it's pronounced my. I know it's my, but Just call her my May. tongue keeps going May. Just go May. No, it's my. I know it's my. Taking an empty plastic tray, we shuffled through, asking for helpings from the sulky cafeteria workers when we passed something that looked good. It was John Jared. Oh, John Trump. <laughs> it was Jacques. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Jared sat alone at oh. a table. No, he sat in a tray. <laughs> he sat on a tray and he was sliding across the. Uh, Is lunch this line. what you would like for lunch? <laughs> Ew. Bro, Jared. <laughs> no innuendos, please. With full trays, Mai led me straight to the table in the back where a few students were already sitting. Mai sat down and I took a seat across from her. Oh, oh my god, look at her eyes! She eats a demon! <laughs> Hi, Mai, how was your break? It was good. I went to Italy and Spain. Dad fell off a ski jet and broke his ankle. <laughs> broke his neck. It's better now, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, well, that's nice. It was yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I expected to be introduced. But the girl turned back to her group of friends and Maya turned back to me. <laughs> yes, that's the end of that. She began to assault her I, I read that as, like, I transformed back. <laughs> I turned back into myself since I was a tiger before. And tell me, in a... Per- Practically a minute-by-minute minute account about her fleeting romance last summer with a boy she met on the beach that didn't go further than a few salty kisses. Salty. <laughs> I sat back and let my talk. For the first time since arriving on campus, I felt like I was finally able to breathe. Too bad that's not gonna last long. <laughs> I picked up my Brussels sprouts ew, and studied my as she spoke. The more she talked, the more I began to notice small details about her. Like this cute little... Booty mark over here. She had a high songbird voice. Maybe she make my voice what? higher. <clears throat> she was dynamic. Ugh. Her face twisting this way and that into exaggerated expressions as she spoke. I hope we get to romance my. Are we saying this out loud? Is like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because she looks like we are. She laughed often. <laughs> she imi- <laughs> imitated people in wildly unflattering voices. Seemingly unrelated to her actual opinion of them. This is trying to sound like me. <laughs> yeah, totally. But most notably, she talked. A lot. I didn't find this particularly annoying as it filled the silence, and she hardly ever asked questions that required my full attention. So I could zone out. Just as Mai was rounding off a shockingly detailed account of the time she accidentally walked in on her friend's older brother in the act of changing, oh, whoa, a hot and steamy bleh, a flash of a familiar green caught my eye. <gasps> which boy, which boy? Malfoy. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I glanced over, it's like slightly Rohan Kishibi voice. <laughs> Rohan. <laughs> hey, that's him. Oh, it's ProJ again. Huh, who? I leaned across the table to scream. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Just in case he could hear me through the ambient chatter of the lunchroom. The boy from the train, that's him. What? Jared? Jared. Uh, yeah. With the weird green jacket and the swoopy hair and the ring. He does have swoopy hair. All of that. Everything and more. (laughs) He's so perfect. He'd just pick up his tray and was he'd he'd just picked up his tray and was walking past us and something seemed to catch his eye. King, okay, do you think if we go on a route with like Jared and like yeah. like we had to like or someone has to explain like oh they're they're off making out in his room like do you think Mai would be like if someone asked Mai where uh, or Hannah was or Hana Hana is uh, she'd be like <laughs> oh she went to Jared's. <laughs> yeah. That wants permission. I am so disgusted with you and everything that you do and your stupidness. Okay, anyways. Mm, oh, you. Whoops, did I skip something? No, you what just went, you went You went back. Whoa! Oh, no! What the hell? What do I do? Uh, ignore. Maybe? It won't let me. It's like slowing. 
trying, I'm trying. Cut that out, Mitchell, it was awful. I looked <laughs> up at him suddenly, realizing he was talking to me. You're blessed. Hana, I met you on the train. How are things settling down for you? I think. <laughs> what? Really well! I found my roommate and she's been helping me out! And she totally digs you. I gestured to mine, who was thunderstruck. In fact, looking around, everyone was. <clears throat> People stopped eating to turn and stare at Gerard. Ja <laughs> That's later. That's a later character. Oops. Ger Jared Leto and me. No. My shoulders bunched around my neck. Well, if you ever need any help, I'll be around. Third year, right? <sighs> I nodded <laughs> smoothly. Very smooth. Some of my friends are in that year. Hey, hey. Is he a senpai? What? I'm sorry, I keep thinking that the, there's audio. Never mind, go, go ahead. There might be in some parts, but I don't know. Of course, they can't compare to me, but I'll give them the heads up to look out for you. The only girl with pink hair. He flashed a dazzling smile, a pro smile, if you will, and then <laughs> winked. Pro smile. Shut up. Oh, he laughed. <laughs> it's the least I can do for such a cute girl. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? I don't know. <laughs> Mitchell, I'm incapable of sexually talking. Why did he like whisper like a creepy monster? <laughs> My heart is failing. <laughs> well, I'll see you around. <laughs> you really don't know how to seduce people. No. Jesus okay, fuck. Okay, continue. <laughs> is that your idea? <laughs> Wasn't that hot? I'll, I'll say this line. Uh, no. No? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay. I watched a torrent of thoughts raging through my head as he took a seat next to a bunch of guys who were all extremely sexy and wearing the same jacket. Organization 13! <laughs> That's Jared. There you go. <laughs> you no! <laughs> no! I was thinking of like, I didn't think of pro Jared for a second there. I thought of like Jared from Subway. What? They, they used to always say like, oh, when you're talking about Jared, they talk about- Oh, I forgot about that guy. Why him? I don't Never know. mind. They went to like advertising. We're wasting like precious dating time. Fine, fine. <laughs> she tore her eyes away from him and looked at me. Mm, me. He's the most beautiful guy in school. I can't believe he just looked at me. I mean, you, but me. <laughs> <laughs> My. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, no, continue, please. It's all right. I'm I, okay. I, I, <laughs> I looked at Mai. Her cheeks were glowing with an Decent pink. Ooh. Oh. Why did they all wear those jeans? You should have been the voice actor for Hana, honestly. <laughs> the jeans! <laughs> oh, because I'm supposed to wear the blue blazers as part of the uniform. Well, wait until you see normal boots. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm hidden laughing, block. I'm laughing way too hard. I know, we're having too much fun. Go ahead. No, they're allowed to. They're... Oh, who's talking? You know Jared. Oh, oh, okay. It's, it's Mimi, bad. when did we learn that? Anyways. Uh, Mimi had turned back around and was looking at me with sudden interest. Well, I mean, I am the hottest girl in school. Hi! <laughs> Good one. Did I know him? <laughs> Your I, inner voice. <laughs> I only talked to him on the train for a few minutes, so not really. We weren't friends or anything. But looking around, my and this girl were the only ones who were interested. Everyone seemed to be listening in. They seemed so surprised when he talked to me. Maybe a little... Maybe a little white lie couldn't hurt. I feel a decision coming up. What should we do? Oh, Mitchell, what should we do? Let's be honest. We? Wait! I figured honesty, but what do you think? Wait? No, let's be honest. Let's, let's be, be honest. honest? Okay. Yeah. Honesty is the best policy. Even with dating Pro J? Yeah. Okay. Pro J, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus, no, now she hates us. Now we made an enemy. Oh. <laughs> she looked me up and down, sniffed and turned away. I forgot to take a shower, apparently. My lean towards me. 
Don't mind Mimi. She was just trying to get in with you. Get in with me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you're the hottest girl ever. Well, you asked me about those guys in their jackets, right? Those are their normal boots club jackets. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Who? <laughs> what kind of name is this normal boots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, there he is, MPBG. I'm sorry. What's Metatron? Uh, what's uh, Metaton doing? There? Metaton. Yeah, the guy in the upper left corner. This one. Upper left. <gasps> Dude, he does kind of look like Metaton. I. He's uh, gorgeous. I think his that's Paul from Continue. I don't know. I don't know remember their names as well. I'm sorry. It's a club we have at school here. It's like totally exclusive and full of only the coolest students. Oh god, look at Shane, Satch, and <laughs> They get together and play video games or just something. Wait, that makes them cool? <laughs> <laughs> that one there is John, also known as Jontron. His bird's name is Jacques, and Jacques is wearing a darling little jacket. I want Ramses to have one. John is also the president of the drama club here at school. Okay, that's that's cool. <laughs> that's so cute. Jesus. Next to him is PVG. Oh, he and John founded the Normal Boots Club together. PVG is one of the best soccer players on our team. Does do you think he really likes soccer, or is that just part of the game? Be funny. And then there's Gerard. People call him the completionist because he's obsessed with completing things. He has the biggest itty bitty titty collection I've ever seen. I couldn't resist. That sounds saying really that. bad. <laughs> I know, but I couldn't resist. You can't throw itty bitty and not have titty. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Next to him is Jared, also known as Pro Jared. He's a model. Then there's Satchbag, but everyone calls him Satch. He's like crazy smart. Those guys over there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in the school newspaper called Continue. Continue? <laughs> Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. And that guy on the end there is Shane. He knows more about video games than anyone ever. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> she exhaled a dreamy sight into her mashed potato. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sigh into her mashed potatoes. What did you think? I said sight. Sigh? Sight? Oh, she looked deep in her mashed yeah, potatoes. Yeah, deep. <laughs> Don't um, so how would someone, you know, join the normal boots club? <laughs> you don't choose the boots, Hana. The boots choose you. Well, that's so is it like so a cute. like a genetic thing? Like <laughs> you have to be born with it. What does that even mean? I thought exactly. You have to be presented with the boots to be in the club. And they're like super selective. No girls are very sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa! I don't mean that. <laughs> what are the boots? Uh. <laughs> Originally found by Odette Antonio Banderas. <laughs> The club has this boot statue. It's like one of their patches, but it's gold plated. It's their mascot, I guess. They do this weird initiation ritual with it. I think they sa summon Satan and sacrifice a goat. I think I they all know. kick you. <laughs> with, kick you. With the boots on. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. Ritual? I can't believe they really do that. The normal <laughs> <laughs> Really? I uh, do that to you. <laughs> I hear they fill a room with candles. What the fuck? And wear these totally creepy creepy robes during initiation. This year two girl said she saw it once and they were all like chanting around the boots and it sounded like they were talking backwards. <laughs> oh my God, they do summon Satan, that's awesome. But I don't believe her. And even if it's true, I don't care if they're a cult because they're all really hot. All right, Twilight, you get it. <laughs> that's not nice of me to say. What, about Twilight? Both. Or about the game? Because this game is way cooler than Twilight. Oh no, absolutely. I just think it's funny that there's cult stuff apparently in here. I guess so. They're gonna summon their persona. <laughs> do, do they have like a lot of friends? Yeah, tons of friends. I'd say they're the most popular kids in school. I mean, everyone in the school totally looks up to them. I bet they could get any girl in school too. Whatever. Why? I don't know why I said that. Or boy for that matter. Oh, there we go. Hey, are you gonna eat your cake? Uh, yeah. 
fuck you, Maya. I want this cake. I shook my head and what? pushed the plastic tray across the table to her and then pulled it right back. <laughs> and then I shoved the cake in my face to prove that I was the one. You teased. <laughs> Maya slapped me right across the face. And that was the end of our friendship. Round over. <laughs> Game over. Fail. <laughs> the remainder of lunch, I listened to my talk about Jared through mouthfuls of half-dissolved frosting. Who doesn't want cake? What the fuck, Hannah? <laughs>